Today we're bringing a battle like we've never done before. We've done battles, just not like this one. <laughs> to reiterate what I started with. We are today bringing a comparison, something we've been dying to do that you've asked for. Yep. Which is better, Smash Burgers on the cast iron or Smash Burgers on the ceramic? Or are they equally impressive? We're gonna go ahead and dig in and give our honest assessment. You wanna see how we knock out this competition, this battle, if you will? Stick around while we dig, dig in. in. You ask, and we're delivering today. Now that we've got the deluxe unit, we are going to go ahead and do a comparison smash burger cook. This we want to see. Yep. We have our preconceived ideas of how this will go. Yes, and the, the preconceived notion is that, uh, well, we're going to show that they are going to be pretty much the same as long as we get that Mayan reaction from both units. And talking about this, I had told Brett, I'm sure that's what we thought. If we can get a Mayan reaction on both, which right now they're on, they're screaming hot, yep. we wanted to make sure we got it. Now, I do want to make a note the ultimate five burner gets really really hot so we don't have it turned all the way up okay, i have yeah. it simply on medium i learned the hard way on mine at home <laughs> they were good because i caught it in time if i would have let them go even 10 more seconds those puppies would have been they would have been hockey pucks yeah they were cooking through quite quick so i learned my lesson and now i only cook them on medium right so we've got the deluxe on we've got the ultimate burner ultimate griddle on the one thing that i think is going to happen i think getting to use the metal utensils is going to be a little bit easier to pull them up on the deluxe unit but really we have nothing else to compare or go with yep. so we're just going to go ahead and get to this but before you glove up brett what's the groceries we're doing this we're oh yeah the smash burgers right let's do this right here of course front and center we got the 80 20 uh, ground meat meatballs that we're using you've got tomatoes we're using these martin potato buns mayonnaise pickled pickles by the way these are the best made pickles oh, cool. they Quite are the best pickles we love them for our burgers we got ketchup yellow mustard lettuce onions. american cheese and we're gonna do we got some diced, diced onions we're gonna onions. toss on there so as well. just a classic smash burger double smash burger if you were coming to the wall twins truck this would be our signature go-to yep. our classic smash burger brent Adam. it's here yes you know what this is yes i well i have a hunch we've got a quick unboxing and opening if you will this is uh, your first time seeing it the same time as our first time seeing this we've seen pictures of it we've shown you pictures of it and now here it is in the flesh <laughs> got, got, him. got me three two one boom look at that Ooh, oh is that are you kidding beauty. me so there it is in all its glory Wonder. and i wish i could go slowly but we don't want to give away too many of the recipes so we want you to buy the book there it is <laughs> oh my word can i, can I? No, thank you. Vibrant. Uh, that that's that new book amazing. smell. A lot of work goes into both of these books. I'm talking hours upon hours. So we are so proud to call this ours. You've got to check this out. Pre-orders are available now on Amazon or anywhere books are sold. We are doing a giveaway. More details to come for anybody that pre-orders. If you've already pre-ordered, hang on to your receipt. Even a digital receipt will do. Release May 16th, so don't forget. Pre-order now on Amazon or anywhere books are sold. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get our mayonnaise. And by the way, we're using Dukes today. I know people are adamant about it's gotta be Dukes or nothing. I'll be honest, as long as it's mayonnaise. We love mayonnaise. And right now in this economy, we'll get whichever's on sale. Dukes happen to be on sale we got the big jug of it at sam's and i'll be honest we love us some duke's mayo so what we're doing is we're going to use this to toast the buns so uh brett will toast on the ultimate and i'll toast on the deluxe so we'll go ahead and get those ready let's get to the grills all right because of how hot this is i'm literally going to toast maybe 10 seconds and take a look all right so right when he throws his let's go ahead and come on over here and we're going to go ahead this is my hot hot zone i'm going to come right here to the side of that and let that go for a few minutes we've got our burgers already right here salt and peppered but brett i think your buns are done 10 seconds that <laughs> is it he wasn't <laughs> kidding so just like brett i'm going to move mine over to the hotter area i'm like why am i just sitting here waiting let that toast up real quick and then we'll pull it and uh, get it ready how we looking? A little bit longer. I'm gonna go about 10 more seconds. Press just a little bit in the middle. By the way, these are the Martin rolls, so they do hold together. We really, really love these potato rolls. Oops. There we go. So far, Brett, it's looking like a tie. Yep. All right, so I am going to use the right side of my, oh God, that is so hot right here. I'm gonna use the right side of my griddle. One thing is I'm going to use uh, just a little bit of oil. This is one thing over the years cooking, we realized a little oil goes a long, long way. So I'm just using a little bit here. Oh, you hear that sizzle? A little less right there. This isn't as hot as that is back there. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a nice press. And when I press, I'm holding for a good 10 seconds, 12 seconds even.
Okay. Curling up is a good sign. Says we're doing it right. <laughs> All right, give me the press. All right, Brett, there you go. You're You'll hang on. So we're gonna just do this so you can see. Now I've got my scraper tool. This works really well. I also have the monster press. There we go. Look at that. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and cheese these up and pull them up. All right, so we're gonna go here and here. Kens, can you plate me? So I wanna make sure we don't get too much grease on there. There we go. All right, so now we'll get on over to Brett's and then we'll dress these up. All right, so here we go. I've got this burner on, I've got this burner on. So I'm gonna put them right there and right there. Let them sit. Now Adam does a 10 to 15 second smash. I only do about an eight second smash. So here we go. That is gonna have some good reaction. So now, does the Ultimate give off a nice Maillard reaction? Now, like I said, I was able to scoop under one time. See that reaction? Now, yeah, this is where it got stuck. Some of it off, so you really want to make sure you get under. Get, get a good angle. See how you can see that Maillard reaction? Oh, my stars make alive. sure and get it good. There we go. There we go. All right, so Brett's gonna go ahead and pull these. We'll dress them. We'll just shoot a little B-roll so you can see what the dressing is like because we're gonna do them identical. We're gonna cut them in half so both of us can test. Look, uh, mistakes were made. Yep. But the taste will be amazing. Yes, it will. All right, let's go ahead and dress them. Well, there they are in, in all, all their, their glory. glory. And we keep having to double check to make sure, wait, which one is which? What's your biggest surprise? I don't really have a surprise because a lot of people, when we started with the ceramic, we were not getting it to temp. These things get so hot that you, I literally only had mine on medium and I still got a better Maillard reaction than you did. That was my surprise. Yep. That the Maillard reaction was a little bit better on the Ultimate. That said, I did need to crank up the heat on mine a little bit more and it is, I don't know what is what we've gotten to this point where we are so worried about those high temps. But anyways, we're gonna try. This one is off the Deluxe. This one is off the Ultimate first. Let's both grab one from the Deluxe okay. first. So they're gonna go with Adam. Okay, bird. by the way, we love that doll strong utility knife. Let These are seasoned the same and built the same. Built the so same, everything is the same. So like we say, it can look amazing. It looks absolutely One amazing. of our classic Smash, Smash Burger. Burgers. Come on now. Like we say, it can smell amazing. When Adam was cutting these, I said, man, it smells like a greasy burger joint. Welcome to the Backyard perfect. Diner. Oh, Welcome, and can I get a smell, yeah? Oh, smell, yeah, you can. Welcome to the Backyard Diner. That's right. If this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all for naught. Cheers, I'll eat to that, my brother. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's a good burger. No, it's not. It's a fantastic burger. <laughs> oh, this one is falling apart and oh, a little soggy there. That is. Wow. <laughs> We've been letting these sit just a little bit too long. Cheers. I'll eat to that. My, My brother. Mmm. Mmm. It's a crust. Flavor-wise, there's no difference. Yep. The crust on this is stronger. Now, I think I can get the same crust on the deluxe. Yep. I'm not worried about that. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Mm -hmm. But good burger. Mm -hmm. The end of the day, um, for over a year, we've been cooking, and we have taken a lot of flack, and understandably so. Brett's got to get a lot of nap or er, paper it towels. Out, yeah. We were not getting the griddle hot enough, the the ceramic, because we were worried about it getting too hot, and then uh, kind of over. I don't know why we were too worried about it getting too hot. We have learned the durability of these things. Super impressed. They're super awesome. So our, my biggest takeaway. Trust the process. Trust the process. They, you can do. I can get just as good a smash burger on the ultimate griddle as I did on the deluxe, and that was proven. Now, I'm surprised. I really, really am. When we're talking de degrees, the difference in the crust, it's so minute. Yes. It's like it's. Yeah, if, if if we did a blind taste test, we would not have been able to tell <laughs> which burger came Boom, from. Boom. Yes. To be that, there it is. The only reason I knew is I actually got the slight crust on the edge of my burger. That's such a good point. They taste <laughs> identical. Exactly. We make a good smash burger. We make a dang good smash. And burger. speaking of smash burger, we got it. Go. Boom! It is up for pre-sale right now on Amazon. We got a link below. We are so excited and so proud of this. A lot of time and effort went into this and it is awesome from burgers to sandwiches desserts and everything in between we got you covered from cover to cover <laughs> there you go i couldn't have said it better myself but i'm gonna try something i'm just kidding <laughs> we are so excited to share this one and what a way to introduce this during this smash burger competition and by the way we do have more burger cooks forthcoming yep. because we have some copycats that have been sitting on our list for a long time we wanted to get to throw them on the deluxe throw them on the ultimate we're just super excited excited for all of this Things are going crazy. People, the crowd is going wild over here for this one. The kids all want smash burgers, so we're gonna get up out of here and go, yep. go make that happen. If you enjoyed this video, if this helped you understand just how good a smash burger you can get on the Ultimate and the Deluxe Unit, make sure and give this video a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us is through ordering one of our two cookbooks, the Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook, which is already out and available right on Amazon and where books are sold and smashed. Like we said, links for both, by the way, down below. Both of the links are down below for sure. And don't forget, anybody who or pre orders Smash will be available to enter a giveaway that we will have forthcoming. More information on that soon. Dot, dot, dot. Man, aside from coming to knock out bangers like this one, why else do we do all this? Because all we do is twin no, no matter, matter what. what. With that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on.